Hello, hello, and thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I'll be making collards with kale and rutabaga. These are going to be some good greens. Um, I began to pick them as you can see. And I did another video cooking some greens and that showed you step by step how to clean them and, and cut them. But anyway, I'll do a few. These are the, uh, the kale, of course, the curly ones. And I used to didn't like these. They got a bad rap from the things that I was hearing. And I decided to taste them one day like this with my uh, collard greens and they are delicious. Um, and these are my collards, of course. And we're going to take the stem out of all of them, put them in this water and we're going to wash them. Like, wash them, take them out, put them over, clean water, wash them three, four, five times, however many times that it takes for you to get uh, the bottom of that sink to be extremely clean. No grit at all. Um, like I said, I have a lot of videos. I have about 140 videos, a little more, a little less. You should go back and check some of them out. And I'm going to finish these screens right here. And then we'll go to the next step. This is the rutabaga. Of course, I'm going to peel it and chop it up, and we're going to throw it in them greens. So while my greens are soaking, I'm uh, going to get my water ready to put them in. You see, I don't use a whole lot of greens. I don't like to just submerge all of my greens into water. You want them to cook down into the water. So I have my water. That's about three cups, four cups or so. And uh, I have it on also. So I have some turkey tails. I usually will buy, when I'm using turkey, I usually will buy the wings and the drumsticks, the smoke. But sometimes the prices can get really ridiculous and then I discover the turkey tails. Um, the turkey tails, they're really delicious. You, first I used to say, nah, turkey tail, but no, they're, they're really delicious. And they're meaty. The only thing about these is you have to be careful because they have really small bones in them when, you know, after they're done and you're getting the meat off of them or eating them. Um, you don't want to choke. Just telling you. It's a choke hazard for small kids. So I just, you know, so the flavors can come out. They can cook quicker. I just kind of cut them up. Put them into the water. I have two. I think I got a pack of about uh, about eight of them in there. Nice size for two dollars and some change at Myers. Might want to give that a try if you haven't used them. Okay. And then in there, I don't know if I told you about these. These are delicious. Um, these are vegetable bouillon, and they are so good. So I'm going to throw a few of those in there. Okay, I'm putting four in here. That's the best bo uh, bouillon. And they're soft too. If you ever use them and you need them to dissolve quickly, you just squeeze it between your fingers and, and there you have it. And also I have some uh, chicken bouillon. I'll put a little bit. My phone is hot. It's Friday. We're going to add in a little bit of chicken broth. Ugh, that's all I'm going to put in there. You know how bland um, greens are. You really have to kick it up, kick it up, kick up the flavor when it comes to uh, greens. Not salt. Just kick up the flavor. Mm -hmm. Some black pepper I'm putting in. I have some bell pepper and onion. I don't really like uh, bell pepper a whole lot. I just like a little bit of flavor of that. If you like it, you know, with lots of bell pepper, put a lot of bell pepper in there. But it can really take over a dish, I know that. Some garlic powder. It's granulated garlic. I don't know why they call it garlic powder. Garlic powder is awful. It's, it is what it is, powder. And uh, call me old school. 
go pay attention to that label. I have some um, baking grease. Yes, I keep my baking grease, but it comes in handy when you want to add a little flavor of bacon and you don't want to put the bacon in. Trust me, drop it on in there. And you're going to have to flavor it a few more times with some powders and whatnot. We're going to let that, that boil. I have my um, rutabaga cut up and waiting, but we're not going to put it in just yet. So I'm going to cover this and let it get to going while I finish uh, washing and cutting up the greens. And FYI, the rutabaga, I used to get turnip. I buy a turnip, but they didn't have any. So I bought the, the rutabaga, and it's like a cross between, well, not a cross. It is cabbage and turnip together. I mean, they cross them somehow. But it, it's, it's really delicious. I, this is delicious. Excuse me. I think you might like it. And um, also, about the greens, I buy my greens dirty. You want them to be a little dirty because if they're too clean, you know they've been cleaned in some solution. Some solution, and you don't want that. So if you can find the dirty greens, buy your dirty greens. Okay, they cook down. And I usually will cook them like from where I slice them. When I see it's opened up, oops, got to be careful. This is hot. When I see that the slices that I've made have opened up, then I know it's it's about time to uh to add my greens in. And I'm going to show you uh, a few different ways you can cut cut them. Okay, I washed my greens like five times. Just because they were that dirty, that's not always necessary. And no, I didn't use any dishwashing liquid. <laughs> Change is on, but I just don't. Okay, um, so like I said, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can take them. No particular way. You just take them and roll them together. Let me make sure you can see. There we go. So roll them together. And you can take your knife. And you can cut them like this. Put them over there. And do a few more so you can see that. You take them, roll them together. No particular way, like I said. They don't have to be cute. They don't have to look good. It just has to be good. No, I take that back. They have to look good. <laughs> just has to taste good. Okay, there. Or you can take... You can take some scissors and cut them like that. Whatever is fastest and best for you. And one other way you can take them, you can just tear them. Okay, cool, ever know? Take them and tear them into the pot like that. That's easy stuff, too. Okay, I'm going to finish these up and I'm going to put them into the pot. Whoops, sorry. Add in these greens. And I have it turned all the way up because putting these in, it's, it's going to um, cool it down. So we're going to have to bring it back up to a boil. It's a nice day outside. Matter of fact, it's perfect for me. It's about in the upper 70s. The sun is out. Just perfect. I can live like this all year round. All year round. Okay, I have them all in. I'm going to add some more seasoning. I tasted it before I put these in. Add a couple more cubes. That's vegetable. A little more. chicken bouillon and 
you have onion powder, you can use onion powder, but I'm using uh, the chopped onions. They're really good, too. Add a few of those in. More. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. It smells so good in here, too. Some garlic powder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some red pepper flakes. A lot or a little. Whichever you like. You only need a little to make it pretty hot, though, so be careful. If you don't want it really hot. I'm going to add in. See, it's boiling again. We're going to turn it back down before we cover it. And I'm going to add a cap full. Or two of apple cider vinegar. Vinegar, can you say? And I have, remember my, ruta, my rutabaga? I'm going to add those in. And we're going to turn it down to a medium. Bring that boil down. You can't cover it now because it'll boil over. But when it calms down, you just cover it let it go. Kale is a little bitter, so I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. Now where you'll know it's there, just where take away the bitterness. Because I have had some people sweet greens. I don't like sweet greens. I think grits are supposed to be like savory. I mean grits, I'm sorry. I don't know, my mind was way off. Greens should be like savory, not sweet. Okay, it's been a couple of hours and uh, I've been tasting. I'm going to taste it one more time. Seasoning is perfect. The rutabaga is nice and tender. Mm-hmm. Tasting a little bit. It's good. Where you at? Where you at? There's your mouth. Mm. Oh, that's hot. And your meat. It's tender. See? And remember the small bones, like I told you when you use the tails. But see, they're really meaty. Mm. Being greedy, y'all. Burn my mouth. But I'm going to plate some of this up. And there you have it. Collars with kale and rutabaga. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. I had a ball. I hope you did too. And remember to pray. Then pray some more. Pray for her. Pray for him. Pray for you. Pray for them. Pray for us. Don't stop praying. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Share subscribe, and comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And until then, be well and eat well. Later.